As pilot, I'm very lucky that I still will get a buzz of doing the job. Generally, when you're expecting a ship, say, at four o'clock in the morning, um, you sleep with um, perhaps not so deeply as you would normally. I'm the pilot for the Torn Torridge Estuary, which includes Biddeford, Yelland and Appledore. I'm also the part-time harbour master for Biddeford. Pilot boat is like a, a taxi that takes the pilot out to the ship and he boards the ship and he conducts the ship into the port. One of the reasons that I enjoy the job still is because we have such a good team. The main coxswain is John Pavitt. He's had spent most of his life as a lifeboat volunteer. And we have Tom Flaxman as crew. Yeah, I popped into Roger about three years ago asking if there's any chance of coming out on the pilot boat just out of interest and uh, he offered to pay me and I haven't looked back since. Over there, North End Yacht Club in Insto, which is my main job, where I'm the secretary. I'm basically the crew. It's basically mooring, making sure the project doesn't fall off and uh, keeping an eye out for hazards. Yeah, we're going out to uh, board the Roseburg and we'll go out to sea uh, a couple of miles. My job on the, on the pilot boat is uh, to get Roger onto the ships uh, safely and get him off again. Obviously it's my call where and when I take Roger on and take him off. Just got to get uh, judge my speed along with the speed of the ship. If there's any sea out there then I need to be positioning the deck of the pilot boat at the top of the wave and then we're not in danger of squashing him or breaking his legs. have to bear in mind that they've been in charge of their own destiny and then they're allowing a pilot to come on board and take over the conning of the ship. You're coming in over the bar, there's surf on either side of the ship, they need to trust you. We're coming in through the channels past Appledore into the River Tor and further on into Yelland. Turning in the river is one of the more interesting parts of, of the job. We have a six plus thousand tonne object and you have to stop it with a, a flood tide trying to keep you going. Ships work 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Therefore, we find ourselves working at night. Biddeford residents uh, wake up, open their curtains and they'll see a large ship that has arrived uh, right on their doorstep. The ships that come to Biddeford uh, generally come to load ball clay. I work closely with the captain to calculate how deep the ship can load. Very often when we leave the quay, we have a clearance of centimetres. Uh, quite often it's 10 centimetres. And we do quite a wide range of ships from tugs and tows to naval ships from Appledore shipyard. A ship will be in port for 24 to 48 hours and it's our job again to uh, conduct the ship back out to sea again. When we're leaving at night and the conditions are marginal, I'm very glad of, of John Pavitt's 35 years experience and the fact that he doesn't panic. If he doesn't get me off then I would find myself in Spain or somewhere else. that has come along, basically nothing has changed from the pilot's point of view. He is still hanging on a rope ladder on the side of the ship under any conditions. And it's the crew on the pilot boat that have to get him safely off and on the boat. <laughs>